Okay guys, so far we saw atomic operations on atomic flag, atomic bull, atomic int and atomic pointers. You may have already noticed about the fact that many operations are common to all these types. Now let's summarize what we discussed so far. So as we discussed before, atomic flag is only allows two operations, test and set and the clear. And all other atomic types provide six operations we talked about. So, is log free, load, store, exchange, compare exchange weak, and compare exchange strong can be called on any atomic types other than atomic flag. Now, on atomic pointers, we can additionally call fetch at, fetch sub, and increment and decrement operators. Now, atomic integral types like atomic int, atomic double, atomic sort, and so on provide additional fetch o, fetch and fetch xo function other than the operations provided by the atomic pointer. Now, on all other atomic types, we can call only six operations, these core six operations. These other atomic types include the user defined as well. But notice that we cannot use all the user-defined types with the atomic class template. There are a few restrictions as well. If you want to use user-defined type with the atomic class template, you have to ensure that, that the particular type have trivial copy assignment operation, which means those types must not have virtual functions, and every non-static members should have trivial copy assignment operator, and not a descendant of a virtual base class. Now what this means basically is that the user defined type that we are going to use with the atomic class template should be bitwise equality comparable. 